Hi everyone, it's Chet here from WebsiteWizard.tv. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your WordPress website SEO friendly. Let's get started. So let's head on over to the WordPress dashboard here. So come down to settings here and click on permalinks. And then under the permalink settings here, you want to select post name here and then scroll down to the bottom and click save changes. So this right here, post name is the most SEO friendly permalink structure to have on your WordPress website. So what this does is it will make the post or page name the URL for that post or page. Now the reason that's important is so when you include your target keyword in your post or page name, then that will also become your URL. So your URL will contain your target keyword as well. So let's go ahead and install some SEO plugins. So head on over to plugins here and then click add new. And then in the search box at the top right, type Yoast SEO and then hit enter on your keyboard. And as you can see right here, here's the Yoast SEO plugin. So go ahead and click install now and then click activate plugin. So now that we've installed the Yoast SEO plugin, go ahead and click on settings here. And if you look on the left here underneath SEO, you can see this XML sitemap. So go ahead and click on that. And as you can see right here, this is automatically checked by default. So we've already got the XML sitemap functionality enabled. So what that does is it will essentially structure your website content in a way that it allows the search engines to index your new content quickly so they can show up in the search engines. So this XML sitemap will allow your website content to show up quickly in the search engines so that you can get search engine traffic. And if you head on over to the left and underneath SEO, click on advanced here. This plugin also allows you to enable breadcrumbs on your site. And breadcrumbs are really good for SEO as well. So that's another thing that you may want to take advantage of within this plugin. So let's head on over to pages here and click on all pages. And then if I come down to my WordPress skills page here and then click on edit. So as you can see right here, we've got this SEO check right here. So if I scroll down to the bottom of this page, you can see right here this Yoast SEO. And we've got some options here. So what this plugin does is it will allow us to customize the way our web pages display in search engines. And as you can see, we've got a snippet preview right here of how this page will display in the search engines. So what you can do to optimize this page for the search engines is you can make sure that your target keywords are inside your page title here and then your description right here. So we can do that right here. So as an example, let's say our target keyword was WordPress training, then we want to ensure that that's in this title and description right here. So we can change this to something like WordPress training for beginners. And then in the description down here, you can say something like get the best WordPress training over on our websites. So as you can see, our target keyword WordPress training in this case is inside our description and our title here. And as you can see, this is how this page will display in the search engines. And if you don't know what a keyword is, then it's simply the word or phrases that you want your website to show up for in search engines when people are searching. So in this case, our target keyword was WordPress training. So when people are going into Google and searching the phrase WordPress training, then this will allow this page of ours to show up in the search engines for that search phrase. So you can use this Yoast SEO plugin to optimize each of the pages on your website that you want optimized for the search engines. And if you actually put your target keyword right here as well under focus keyword, then as you can see, they make some suggestions here of ways that you can optimize your web page further. So as you can see right here, we can optimize this page further for the search engines by including our keyword in our heading for this page and also in the URL for this page and then in the content. So if I scroll up quickly, you can see here's our page title and this is the page URL and this is our content. So if we want to optimize this further for the search engines, then we simply need to include our target keyword here, WordPress training inside our heading URL right here and then in our content as well. And then once you make those changes, you can go ahead and click update here. 
So another thing you can do on this page to optimize it further for the search engines is to also optimize the images on this page. Now there's no image on this page at the moment, so let me just go ahead and add one right here. So let's drag and drop this image right here and then click insert into page. So I'll just quickly fix the alignment on this image right here. So as I mentioned before, our target keyword in this case was WordPress training. So if I copy that and now click on the image once and then click this pencil icon right here, what you want to do is make sure that you've got your target keyword in the alt text right here. And you want to make sure that you don't just paste in the keyword like that. You want to work it into a phrase. But for this example, I'm just going to leave it like that. And then if you click advanced options for the image title attribute, you can also include the keyword here. And again, just work it into a phrase. So once you've done that, click update and then click update on the right. So that's another way that we can optimize this web page for the search engines for our target keywords. Now, there's a cool little plugin that will actually automate this process for you with the images. So if we head on over to plugins and click add new, and then in the search box on the right, type SEO friendly images, and then hit enter on your keyboard. So as you can see right here, here's the SEO friendly images plugin. So click on install now, and then click activate plugin. So if we go down here on the left and click on SEO friendly images, so as you can see right here, it tells you what the plugin's doing right here, but essentially what this plugin does is it automatically optimizes all of the images on our website for the search engines. So if we included, for example, our target keyword inside our page title, then that will also be included on the image as the alt text and the title, for example. So this plugin essentially allows us to optimize all of the images on our website without having to do it manually. So this is a really cool plugin. So if I go back to pages here and click on all pages, and then I'll hover over my WordPress skills page and click edit. What you want to do is when you're creating your web page content right here, you want to make sure that this is 100% original and unique. So if you just copy this information from another website and just paste it on your page, then what Google will actually do is it will penalize your web page right here for duplicate content. And once Google penalizes your web page for duplicate content, then it will prevent your web page from showing up high in the search engines. So you want to make sure that your content on your web pages are 100% unique and original. And another thing we did earlier is we included our target keyword right here inside our page content right here. And you want to make sure that you only do that once or twice throughout the content. Because if you include the target keyword multiple times throughout the content, then Google will see that as keyword stuffing. And then again, it will penalize this web page and that will prevent that from showing up high in search engines. So that's a couple of things you want to keep in mind when you're creating your web page content. So let's head on over to plugins and click add new. And then in the search box at the top right, type WP Super Cache. and then hit enter on the keyboard. So as you can see right here, here's the WP Supercache plugin. So go ahead and click install now, and then click activate plugin. So as you can see, we've now installed the WP Supercache plugin, and it gives you a brief description of the plugin right here. But what this plugin essentially does is it caches all of the content on your website. So that makes all of your web pages load faster. And that's great for SEO and also user experience too. So if we now head on over to settings and click reading, and then if you scroll down, you can see this search engine visibility here. And you just want to make sure that this is unchecked because if this is checked right here, then that will actually prevent your site from showing up in the search engines. So you want to make sure this is unchecked and then click save changes. And if we hover over settings again, and this time click writing. And if you scroll down, you can see this update services right here. And then the URL right here, this is the ping list right here. As you can see, we've currently only got one URL here. But what this essentially does is when you publish new content on your website, key websites will get notified that your website's got new content and that will help your web pages show up in search engines quickly so you can get more search engine traffic. Now at the moment, we've got only got one URL in the ping list, but we can actually add some additional URLs to help improve this process. So if we head on over to my website right here, I've actually got a ping list for you right here and I'll leave the link to this below the video. But what you want to do is you want to scroll to the bottom of this page 
and then highlight all of these URLs right here all the way to the top right click copy head back to the WordPress dashboard and you want to paste these URLs below this existing one so don't delete this URL right here hit enter on your keyboard and paste these new URLs below this existing one and then click save changes so that completes this tutorial showing you some basic things that you can do to optimize your WordPress website for the search engines I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and what I'll do is I'll leave all of the relevant links below the video and if you have any comments or questions then go ahead and leave a comment below the video and if you like the video then go ahead and click the like and share buttons and if you want to be notified when I release new videos then go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.